Hey people injured here, welcome back to some Age of Wonders 3. We are a Dwarf King, the Iron King, Grom, here he is, about to fight some brigands. I accidentally went to start this fight without hitting record and it gave me the choice to um, let them run or fight them. I of course chose to fight them if you're wondering why I have the Hunted Down Fleeing Guards modifier down there. Arberg has a quest available. What have you got going on fellas? Raise the watchtower, we get a vassal and a forge priest. I will take it. Where's the watchtower? Oh, it's over there. Oh man, that's going to take a while to get to. You might need to go straight after that because you only get 10 turns. And that's going to be 5 as it stands right now. But we're going to take this fight over here. And fight some brigands. Trying to hide out. So we've already lost an axeman in the first episode, which is amazing. Uh, thinking about that battle, we probably should have, the thing to do would have been to back all the way off, most likely. So that the Wisps could teleport to me, but the Phantasm Warrior wouldn't be able to get into the fight. And therefore we could have protected the stunned Axeman. So Brigands are an irregular unit that have ranged and melee attacks and a sprint. And generally annoying as hell, we've got an Elf... Dwarf and an Orc. Oh, we could try and flashbang them, which would mess up their ability to shoot stuff. No longer have our nice shielded axemen on, though. Gonna run you up. Run you up. I'm not sure if you can get a shot. You can. It's a really bad shot. But you'll get a really bad shot back if they try and shoot us. Gonna run Brimir up here and Grom up to here and we're going to try and flashbang something what has the worst resistance most likely orcs yeah we've got a 60% chance actually on all of them aside from a dwarf damn it resisted so they're guaranteed to take the damage but um as you saw there they resisted the blind effect I guess we'll move you up this is deep guard Dave our fresh deep guard here they're all called Dave and I can shoot something. Is it even worth it? I guess it is. Crossbows, unlike muskets, don't need to reload or anything. Surprise, surprise. They's gonna shoot us. And throw javelins. They all attacked Brimir. So can we bust through this stuff? The gates... Oh, everything's 12 hit points. Okay. So Deep God Dave can come in. And, oh hey, one shot them. That does leave them open to attack. I can charge these fellas. They will then sprint away though. I should try and flashbang again, I think. Flashbang these bastards over here. Huzzah! So they're blinded for two turns. They can't use ranged attacks or any ability, I think, that targets something more than one hex away. So basically they can melee stuff. Not sure if they will, what the AI will do there. If they'll just wait it out. Okay. I guess we charge in here and try to finish them off with Brimir afterwards. Let's do this. We're not going to get a crit because we are at normal morale. I don't think you have a base chance to crit. You do need some positive morale modifiers there. Yeah, we're going to get this kill. So really, only the orcs are a threat this turn. Oh, hey, because of um, killing spree, we basically get another turn with Brimir here, which is awesome. Freaking awesome. You get another terrible shot over there. I can't. Well, there's very low chance for me getting through these obstacles. Unfortunately. I guess we can try. Those deep guard will take one shot.
Hmm. Let's try. Nope. Take that shot. And do I bust through? I guess I don't need to bust through. Just take that shot. And go. Javelin. Oh, against my crossbowman. I thought they'd go for the deep guard. Unfortunately, I can't get around these fellows without just killing them. It's all line of sight blocked again. I can bust this down. This gives me a clear shot. Oh, they did it one shot. Which might get me a kill. Can I just melee them to death? I'll take quite a lot of damage when I do that. Huzzah! So we should be able to clean this up with a musket shot and then barreling into those guys with our boar riders and with Bimir's crossbow. I'll take some damage for sure. Should I get a crossbow shot first? Because they're going to kill him. So let's get some XP here first. In fact, let's put last stand. On our boar rider, so they don't take quite as much damage. Still guaranteed the kill, of course. There we go. And they leveled up. And we can start looking at leveling up stuff. What did we rescue? We rescued an orc martyr and this thing. None of which are particularly useful to me. I'm going to sell for the gold, I think. So, our boar rider leveled up, which means it's now. Trooper rank, as you can see, giving it bonuses all the way up to champion, which is a repeatable bonus. Most units at elite get another trait or ability or something. In this case, we get inflict, inflict crippling wounds. What does our deep guard get? Armor piercing. Crossbowman gets armor piercing too. And your heroes and leaders level up with a ability point system, which you'll see when we finally level up. So, time to head. We can't move right now, but we're gonna head towards this. I wonder if there's a quicker way in the north. Shall we risk it? We're gonna risk it. We'll get there in time, and uh, we'll do a little scouting on the way. Boar Rider found a necromantic circle, which isn't great. In fact, you head back to Tor Loden should get a new hero soonish, I would think. Oh, hey, here's our dwarf engineer. Sure, let's get one of you. We've got a melee attack. We've got a blunderbuss, which is an AOE kind of ranged attack. You have to be kind of, you have to be pretty close to it though, for it. I should say a flashbang too. That's pretty good. Rapid reload, which allows you to reload a machine unit or any unit really, but um, machine unit for sure. We got maintenance, so. We do have a little passive heal for our units. And I believe at elite rank yet we get emergency repair. There might be another way to give them a repair ability I seem to maybe recall but um, we'll see. We've got a drone. Continue around here. And another drone. Can you find another city down here? Maybe. Found some mermaids hanging out. Let's go next turn. Nothing to cast. We could cast another spy drone. I mean, we don't need the mana for much else. Mana fuel cells plus 20 production is great, but I don't think it will help us get stuff in one faster right now, really. There might be a, a case for it, but um, spy drones are good. Let's get a third. I typically un typically underuse those scouts because I'm afraid of running into too many other players and them all declaring war on you, which can happen. Oh no! Lost souls were spawned. How far can they get? Pretty far. It's bad. Let's go through the mountains here. Mm. 
Modern Warfare Training. Machine and Arch units have an additional rank. That's not bad. Solid Engineering is awesome. We'll probably go for that. Scales of Fortune is good to get early. Makes everyone dedicated to neutral and 100% more likely to deal critical damage. Resurrect Hero is nice to get early. I never get that. Got a Musketeer, of course. I think I'll go for Solid Engineering and then pursue some Musketeers. Plus one defense. Can't argue with that. Okay, fellas. We might need to come and deal with this. I'm not sure if we'd have time. It's going to have a 10 turn timer on it. Let's go after... Oh, hey. Gold. And a city. Awesome. The goblins over here, by the way, of Inzwa might indicate that the goblin player is over there. Pick up these haste berries. And keep on looking for stuff. We've got some production resources there, which is nice. Gives you a free building in the closest city. I think it's, yeah, the closest city. Some gold. Oh, hey, a haunted boneyard with a full stack on it. These things can actually spawn tier 4 units late game. Archon Titans, which are scary. We've got our lab, which means now we're getting an Axeman Awesome in one turn too. Do we have one turn engineers? Nope, that's 94 production. Even with the mana fuel cells, we wouldn't get a one turn engineer. We would get a one turn crossbowman with mana fuel cells. But I think I'll go with my drone and get another axeman in there. And I want. I'd love a wooden wall and a war hall. Please and thank you. We might rush the crossbowman because it will only be 50 gold for a one turn rush I think next turn over here yep four turns until the solid engineering what's our alignment looking like just 25 which is good we can make more peace with more stuff without tipping us over too far into goodness do need to keep an eye on that though Okay, Spy Drone is ready to cast. We can cast them near a city we own or a hero or leader we own. So we'll, we'll grab you over here. Oh, hey, it's a Naga dwelling. And they're not happy. I think if I go in here... They will get more annoyed by trespassing, although they are hostile, so maybe they don't care. Hey, they don't care. Oh, maybe they do. There, look, they have you have trespassed. That's a 10 turn debuff. Balls. Um, I guess my lead is heading down there, so you don't have to. I don't want to trespass again, though. Because I kind of want the Naga on my side. Although it might have to be for force by force. Oh, hey, there's a chest here. Damn it, I turned my drone around already. I want that chest now. Don't think any of our units can swim. We've got an Axeman. Here he is. Going to be joined by our boar rider. And hopefully we don't get followed back to our city by the Lost Souls because that's going to be a tough fight. Well, it could be a tough fight if we can't block the Undying from triggering. Um, yeah, we'll just keep filling this in, I think, with this drone. Another watchtower. Grab this gold and try not to die, fellas. This drone, that is. Yep, Axeman is in. Crossbowman. It's going to get rushed. We'll most likely leave. We might rush the engineer as well, actually. We may do that. I think I need another shrine in there. 
Lots of rushing, which does debuff the city's happiness, as you can see there, for five turns. So there is a downside other than losing the gold, which is a nice little balancing thing, I think. Keep on trucking. I need some drink. Okay. Nothing spawned from here then. So I guess maybe they're just on different timers for different types of stuff because we saw the lost soul spawn from the necromantic circle for sure. Drone over here. Oh hey, found another city. Looks like a frostling city, I think. Must be. not another dwarf sitting I don't think any other type would spawn in the cold environment looks like we need to walk over these wetlands here we see a tomb this is a dungeon type place where only one army can enter usually get some cool loot this ziggurat down here is much the same thing so we're going to get that quest done, which will be nice. We'll get a vassal for free, as well as a new unit. Boar Rider, head into Tor Loden. Where is my new hero? I always forget when they spawn. We're at turn 10 right now. Throne. I don't know if... Oh, hey, there's another lost soul. That could be bad. Which means there's another necromantic circle somewhere. Unless the lost souls came out of the boneyard, which could have happened... I thought they only spawned Archons, but I could be wrong. This doesn't, like, tell you where they're from or anything. Oh, is that... Is that a necromantic circle right there? Looks like a Well of Souls, maybe. We'll see. I'm not sure... If Grom's stack... Could take that. I mean, maybe? We'll, we'll take losses, most likely, though. Alright, you're heading towards this. Unfortunately, I don't want you to trespass anymore, so you can't make it there this turn. Tor Loden's got some defences going. Need to get this Magma Forge down. That could be a nasty fight, though, with these Flamers Firebomb. Two of them hitting your entire army is bad. Okay. I think it would take us out of happy if we rushed it. Which is most likely not worth it. Because we'd be losing resources for 10 turns. For, sorry, 5 turns. Oh no, like 9 turns it would be. So we've got 2 debuffs there. Rather than shaving 1 turn off the engineer. Oh no! So we might be able, I'm really bad at this, but we might be able to avoid contact here. Look at this map. Very rarely do I fight in the mountains. Looks pretty cool. So if you, if the fight goes five turns without anyone getting damaged, it ends with a defeat for the attacking player, which is these fellas. Since they're not that fast, although they can float over stuff, we might be able to do this. Well, we should be able to do this, but I have messed these up sometimes. I don't think I've done it while recording. But back in the day, I certainly balls this up several times. This map seems really big. We're on round four. Looks like we'll be okay. Don't do anything dumb. You can only move to there, so I should be okay going here. I'm gonna speed this up as much as possible. I'm sure this is exciting viewing. There we go. Too many turns since the unit was damaged. They're still there, of course. They're not defeated in the sense that they are destroyed, but um, our drone lives. This drone does have. Explosive death. So 
would actually could act, you can actually take out all three of them with your explosive death if you are skillful at such things. Hey, we're going to get on the watchtower. N note that we need to raise, i.e., destroy the watchtower, so we won't get the benefits of the uh, of the vision once we conquer it because of that quest. But here we are, find some orcs. I find it surprising that they don't actually show the watchtower on the watchtower map. Seems like... Oh, there it is. I was wrong. I was so wrong. There is the watchtower. I stand corrected. So what have we got? We've got spearmen. Are they pikemen or anything? No. Decent little unit, I think. Impaler, which are pikemen, and razorbow fellas. So we want to keep our cavalry away from the impaler, basically. So let's try and get our deep guard onto the impaler. Have to be a little bit patient here. I could flashbang the razorbow. Which is working out pretty good for us. Now, since these are orcs, the razor bows are decent in melee combat and they do have war cry. None of these fellas have shields, so either is a decent target for a crossbow, although we do have a range penalty here. You see these solid circles and these dotted circles, as it were. The dotted means that it's a range penalty for the shots, which is all the shots here. So we'll just take a shot over here. Okay, Brimir. What are we going to do with you, buddy? Do we last stand someone? Or do we just take a shot? I think I'll come here. And take a shot. At you. They do have a shield. The Impaler might come and fight us over here. But we'll be alright. Ball Rider, I'd love to charge you in, but I don't want you taking flanking hits from the Impaler. So let's put you there. Looks like the Impaler comes for Bimri here. Oh, these guys get a flank, what's that? Ouch! That's way more painful than I thought. Very, very bad place to put Brimira there. We're gonna Grom over here and Musket. Muskets are awesome. Look at that damage. Leveled up our leader. I think we'll kill you. No, we won't kill you. We'll do this. We need to kill this Spearman because they're gonna kill Brimira, which would be very embarrassing even for me so we're gonna get on a flanking position just to make sure and do some of that now can we kill the razor bow with Bimir's crossbow we can another sloppy fight taking way too much damage on my hero there but we did it unfortunately we need to give up all this lovely vision by raising the structure which completes the quest and we get our reward. So this city is now a vassal. They are going to pay each turn. Or rather we're going to get some trade income. The trade income depends on how happy they are. These guys are very happy. Up to friendly 980 which I think is the maximum. And you see all the reasons why they are so happy with us. Okay. So we can demand tribute, which would annoy them, but we can get some units that way. How? Hmm. How much do you lose when you demand tribute? Because we have so much. We might be able to get some um, free units before they join our empire. 
Upgrade Grom. We're going to get Imperial Authority plus 200 morale, which is awesome. Morale lets you get critical hits. Also, counteracts morale penalty stuff, of which there is a lot. We're going to get some hit points as well. And Brimir leveled up. So you're gonna you're fighting as a bodyguard right now. So I'm not gonna get defense command. Or am I? Or am I just gonna split you off now and make an army? So now I've got that forge priest. I think we will. Let's get field medic. Not a bodyguard anymore, buddy. There are lost souls hanging around somewhere. But we're gonna run you back. You should be okay. And the priest will take your place. Yeah, we might need two armies to come over here and deal with this haunted boneyard. So that'd be good for you fellows to get going. Hmm. Gonna grow in nine turns. Let's cancel the wooden wall and cancel the shrine so we can get units up quicker. Maybe we'll rush that war hall. Okay, Grom. It's probably time. Is it time to go for the seal? Where is the seal? It's over there. Hmm. There's so many. We can't leave. You can't leave these things here though, because they're going to spawn crap. So there's that one. Did we not find another? I thought, yeah, there's a necromantic circle over there. We need to deal with these. Don't know if Grom can do that fight efficiently. Especially when I'm controlling him. Oh, hey, there's Lost Souls over here. Going to attack our throne city. It's going to suck. I guess we'll just take out some of these structures around here. Maybe this watchtower as we wait. This drone's got some movement. Are oh, we going to meet these fellas? Oh, there's some mana down there too. So this is the village of Maurholm. Some frostlings. We're going to negotiate. We're going to be peaceful, I think. 100 gold. They're not giving me free peace. We're at 50. I think you need 200 to be slightly good. We might have to destroy these guys. Yeah, prepare to be destroyed. Got to stay neutral. Got to stay neutral. Oh, there's another haunted boneyard down here. Awesome. And something to pick up. Thinking of something to pick up. 133, not bad. Pretty good roll there. It's a dungeon. Dungeons are awesome, but tough. Yep. I'm gonna get attacked over there, but it should be okay. It should be okay. Alliances and meetings, nothing to cast really. Could get another spy drone, but I don't think that's necessary. If we got our shrine up, we could afford mana fuel cells. But it would only give us plus one mana income. And a flashbang is good. Gonna get a second army up relatively soon here. Closely matched, it says, because the uh, whatever works out the the fights or predicts them rates lost souls quite highly because they have incorporeal floating past wall and undying which are all things that it rates quite highly i think lots of protections and stuff as well but we should be okay as long as you can block them from coming back from the undying we should be okay 
Speaking of block, we can't exactly keep our crossbowmen safe. This is they can just float over these things. But we'll set up like this. We'll also do some flashbang. Overload, by the way, is not useful unless we have a machine. So let's flashbang something. They don't like fire. Unfortunately, we can only do that once because Grom not being present in the battle means that it costs double casting points and double mana. So now we're down to four casting points since it cost 16. And we'll just wait for him. Can I get a shot here? Nope. So we've got to kill one and then stand on its corpse so it can't reanimate. Is this a kill? It's not a kill. Is this a kill? It is. What we need to try and do... You might get a kill. Let's go here. Get the kill, which is nice. Then we can put the Dwarf Boar Rider on it and defend. And then take a shot. I mean, you might come after my crossbowman, which is going to hurt. I think I'll take this shot, though. Can't really get anywhere super safe and still get a shot, I think. We're going to take the shot. Yep, going for my crossbowmen, they get a flank. Those guys are down. So. Can I get a kill on these fellas before the second one spawns? Because these guys can't move anyway. They used all of their action points retaliating there. So I should be able to come in, get a flank. And then maybe get a... Sh I might just melee these guys to death. I'll take a maximum of 20 damage. I will get the kill eventually. I think I'll do it. Just to guarantee the kill here. There we go. Bloody lost souls. Oh, hey, new hero. Red Sondra, the priestess. She is a dreadnought. That is awesome. With heal. A musket. You already sound amazing. You're armored. For sure, we take. Red Sondra. Yes. Um... Sure, you can lead this army right now. Brimir's going to get over there. And he's going to sit in Torlodon and try and get a third army going, which is going to be fun. I think... What do we want to complete this? Probably another Axeman, actually. Another frontline unit over here. Which is going to be you. Awesome. So you'll be ready to roll out. You can grab this Magma Forge. Pick up some other stuff. Maybe like a farm up here you'll get a unit from. Oh, and a necromantic circle, of course. Happy with that pickup. Great blacksmith. Cheaper units. Armoured units, which is basically everyone. I think only... Uh, if we look in here. Only the prospector, I think, is not armoured. There might be another one. What about the priest? Is the priest armoured? Where are you? Yes, you are. It might only be the Prospector then. You can't move anymore. Research. What was we got? Oh, we got the... Uh, solid Engineering. I would like to get a Musketeer. But, let's just grab Invention as it's only one turn. We've got some good choices here. Unspent upgrade points for Red Sondra. There's emergency repair. We don't have any machines yet. 
So we'll grab Imperial Authority. And then some hit points. Our first machine, I believe, is the Golem, which is our tier 2 melee unit. And there's a lot of good tier 2 units in tier two melee units in the game. The Golem might be the best of them. In terms of tanking, certainly, because they have various uh, there's various Empire traits and stuff that affects them. Much like Solid Engineering affects them. There's other things as well, I believe. Oh, hey. An Eldritch Pit. There's a lot of freaking things to clean up. we still got a seal to go for, of course. Uh oh. Lost Souls going for my drone. Let's take care of them before they can do that. Drone is in the fight. I don't want to auto it, though, because they might get my drone killed. As if I don't get things killed. Another mountain fight. I'm liking these. The new Age of Wonders game, by the way, Age of Wonders Planet Fall, they've been showing they be in Triumph Studios, the developer, they've been showing footage of it and it looks pretty awesome. First time they've done a sci-fi game that I know of, or kind of like sci-fi fantasy mythology type thing. I think they call it mythic sci-fi or something, which is a cool term. I'm into it. But this fight, we're gonna deep guard, we're gonna ball rider, we're gonna move up Grom. We can't flashbang because we've still only got four casting points. That's not worth it. Oh hey, forge priests are gonna be awesome here because of fire. Let's have a look at these guys. Actually, they've got fire bolts. They've got a melee attack. They've got guardian flame, which is a little bit of a heal. Fire protection and plus two fire damage. All good. Lava walking as well. I think lava is only underground. There you see the solid engineering. Up to 12 defense, which is amazing. So, um, yes, I should have. Can I get my priest in there? Maybe. You can't move anymore, so balls that up. I can't. I think you need to be in melee range for this so another mistake yeah Let's chuck some fire I'm just gonna sit here as are you as are you and uh, I don't know let's go here I suppose you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the lost soul and take it out I would hope the spy drone is fine you're just gonna get a crappy shot Okay. That turn was much longer than needed to be. And I messed it up by not giving fire damage to someone. See, that guy would be dead right now if I put Guardian Flame on my Boar Rider. But I'm actually going to put it on you. Because you have... You can run up and hit that guy. You're just going to kill him. I'm going to throw you up here and put you on defense. You can try and flank around, I suppose. I'm being impatient, obviously. See, I could have done tons of damage with my Forge Priest. Still not worth taking these. More, more mistakes. You can just sit back there. Wow, a lost soul didn't do anything. That's amazing. So we need to block this. I guess we'll use the crossbowman to do that. But right now... I'm going to go all the way around here. You go there. You're going to get some very nice fiery attacks. In fact, you're just going to outright kill this guy. Can we get close enough for a musket shot? We can. Not going to do a whole lot, but we got it. I like how blood comes splurting out of the uh, lost souls when you attack them. Another badly managed fight, guys, but um, we got through it with overwhelming numbers and brute force. I guess I'll just keep the drone patrolling this eastern... Uh-oh, there's the necromantic circle. 
I guess we can go and deal with it right now. Should get an item or something out of it. Is Naga still not impressed with me? Refugee camp I like. Another brigand hideout, which means there's brigands somewhere. Did that level up my city? No. We're going to go in four turns now. Engineer is up. Yeah, we know that. Next turn, Axeman. And then that stack is complete. Next turn. Is this already clear? I guess so. Aha! Finally, take out this Magma Forge. No mercy, I think, is what we're doing. Wait. We are actually perfectly neutral right now. But we will take the no mercy for the XP. And hopefully... Not get hit by these flame bombs too much. If they can both throw both their flame bombs on like three units or more, pretty bad. These are all draconian units, which you can get as a draconian. Red Sondra, what spells do you have? Force field, eh? Pretty good. You might throw that on something to get some XP in the first turn. In fact, throw it on yourself. Fire resistance, pretty useful. Oh, babe, by the way, this map has choking fumes, which affects everyone, even these fellas. So nobody's too happy about being here. That's just a massive debuff. And because of Imperial authority, and other such things. We're doing okay with the choking. Not thrilled with it. But doing okay. Here's our engineers, and we'll see the firing pattern of the blunderbuss here. As you can see, you need to be pretty close, but you can get a bunch of stuff in there. that we're ready to go we might eat a firebomb here or here it's kind of hard to keep everything separated there we go not too bad only one got hit for the second one that was a fire spit uh, we can't get close enough to what's the range on my flashbang pretty good range 60% chance to blind those fellas. But I might want to blind these fellas. Now, can I... get in a place to musket the flank of this guy and one-shot him? I don't think we can without taking a hit. Which I don't want to do. But I can musket him from the front. Which might one-shot him anyway. It might. Let's try it. Nope. Solid hit. Actually rolled quite low there. So not that solid a hit. Try and get into these guys' face, but um, we are slow dwarves with our little legs, and we can't quite manage it, guys. So we'll do this and at least stay split up a bit. You. Camp. What's the cooldown on this? It's only one turn. So can we just kill you? We can. I'll take it. Most likely going to get firebombed over here now. Go on, flamers. That's all right. That's all right. So who needs healing? These Axemen need healing before this fight's done. Boar Rider also needs healing. So that's not a flanking position. This is. But it's also fire. Can come in here, get a defensive strike. 
a crit as well. And get in their face. Maybe finish them off with the crossbowman here. Yes. Good hit. So, um... don't think we need to flank. And they are going to fumble. That's what happens when you have bad morale, guys. So. Can we get these guys finished off and also heal? I guess we'll heal these guys instead. I didn't know if I could finish them off. And also get the heal in. Or if I just kind of block myself. I can't finish them off anyway. Without also smacking up my boar rider. Can you move? Everyone's moved. Don't want to blunderbuss. I don't have you. Balls. Just go. They're gonna die. Get some gold. And once we expand, we'll get some more stuff. Head towards this. You're gonna start raising an army once this war hall is done. 150 gold to rush it. Hmm. I think next turn it'll be worth rushing for sure. War Hall gives us some more options for units. And some more gold. You need to get the hell away from this ne necromantic circle. Although they shouldn't spawn more lost souls for a little while at least. Hey, some lost souls in the water here. Which is exactly where I wanted to go. Guess we'll just come straight down here. There might have been more trespassing. Maybe it doesn't stack. Oh, I should get this as well. For XP. Or well, it's a free level, actually. Spiders can be dangerous because of their webbing. But we will go in here. CC abilities are very, very strong in Age of Wonders 3. Because you can't move, can't attack, can't do anything, and everything against you counts as a flank. A bit too strong, I think. Especially since they can last several turns. Like three, you can get like three turn CCs. But um, there are ways around them. Okay, we've got a skewer, which is a pikeman unit, so we want to keep our cavalry away from it. Some spiders, dread spiders, which have blight damage. Webbing, hunters, which can teleport for some reason. And kobolds, one of the worst units in the game. But there they are. Most likely kill half of our units now. Okay, Grom. What are you gonna do, buddy? Deep Guard are gonna move up here and defend. I am being aggressive, as I usually am. They'll have to chuck some fire on stuff. Do some of that. Do some of that. Those guys might just teleport on my hero and try and web him. On my leader, even. It's Grom himself. Boar Rider. Keep you away from the pikemen. Go after the boars. And Grom. We could flashbang. Not super useful here. 
Musket will do a hell of a lot of damage. I guess we bring you over here and musket something. Oh, hey, we can one-shot these guys. Cool. One spider out of the way. Let's go next turn. They're going for my Forge Priest. Oh, no, the crossbowman. And they get him. Ouch. I don't have armor piercing those guys. Kobolds get beat down. Needs to come and save my poor crossbowman over here. Needs to finish off the boar. I can heal them for 10. You can't move. Not sure if I'll be able to save them here. Let's see what kind of damage Grom can do on these fellas. Can't kill them. So that's bad. Might lose my crossbowman here. So I might be able to kill those guys. Take a lot of damage doing it though. Okay, is it worth healing them for 10? If they all go after them, they're going to die anyway. And I could get a kill right here. I mean, even if I kill them, they die. Even if I heal them, sorry, the skewers can kill them anyway with those three attacks. Can you kill them with three attacks? Two attacks even? You can. See, I can kill these. There's like no way to guarantee that they live, I think. Nothing else to do stuff. If only Grom killed these dread spiders. I think I'll kill the skewer. And hope. I don't think healing them will save them here. Spider most likely turns around and kills them. Yep. Yeah. Balls. Grom's gonna shoot you in the face now. I guess I can use my heal. Not without taking damage though. Balls. Another unit lost. Another loss that I'm sure was avoidable. Yeah, all I needed to do was not leave my crossbowman open. But I did. Leader leveled up. Oh, hey, now you can get Guardian Flame. Wizard Hunters is pretty good. Plus one resistance for everyone. Guardian Flame does give you a little bit of a heal each turn. Let's go Wizard Hunters for right now. And some defense, maybe a vision range upgrade. That's actually pretty good. Already got 14 defense. Get some range strength. Another bad loss. Another bad loss. It did level everyone up, though. Is this another one? Another champion's tower? I think it is. Yes, it is. We don't have another unit laying around, do we? Nope. We might get one for a necromantic circle. If we take it on, and I think we will. I think we will. Not now, because he's hurt. Let's heal up a bit. Everyone else has moved. Everyone else has moved. Let's go into the next turn and then end this episode. Steal that seal over there. So many distractions. Oh, I've been caught by the lost souls again. So another exciting avoidance here, hopefully. 
So last time I just went straight back and it was easy. I don't know if all the maps are the same size. Speed us up as much as I can. And keep on avoiding. Poor bastards. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Should be okay. Huzzah! So where the hell did they spawn from? Are they from this necromantic circle? They might be. Let's get you moving. Get you into the waterways where you sometimes find those nice chests. Invention researched. So we've got 30 casting points now. It's time for the great blacksmith. Earlier you get this the better, obviously. Suppressed nature is pretty good. Okay, we've got this fight for next episode. We've got this fight for next episode. You're going to sit in Torloden and raise an army soon. We are going to rush that for 100 gold. And we're going. We're losing stuff here and there because of my inefficient play and uh, general impatience. For defensive battles, which is the generally the way to play this game is to be very defensive, and uh, it makes the battles take a long time, which I'm not a big fan of. But they have it. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time, where we fight some necromantic stuff, I guess, and try not to die. See you then.